ton fichier. Euh... Il y a des tas de façons, mais on... Ouais, justement, donc, tu, tu écris ton fichier, tu le, tu le, tu, tu le fais passer dans ton compiler, dans ton compiler. Et puis, euh, et puis après, tu as toute la partie euh, mise en production, euh, tu as toute la partie versionning également à gérer. Ah ouais. Au lieu de faire un programme, c'est pas seulement de taper le programme, ah ouais, c'est de le maintenir, etc. Oui, on va devenir un ingénieur versionnaire. C'est ça. Parce que, ce, que, ce, que, ce, que je, ce que je mets en place, c'est un outil euh, full, full web où en gros, euh, tu codes dans ton navigateur web et tu as, as le gestionnaire de version qui est inclus. Donc en fait, c'est un peu comme si je... je... Et donc ce que, ce que ma, ma vision entre guillemets c'est un peu de regrouper tous les outils, à savoir euh, exactement Eclipse, plus, plus Git, SVN, donc ça. Ouais ouais ouais. ouais c'est pareil. Et donc voilà, l'idée c'est d'avoir un, un nouvel environnement. Ouais, et, et, euh, et ce qui est super intéressant avec cette approche, c'est euh, typiquement quand tu as plusieurs versions de ce langage, on peut mettre la journée de code, imagine que toutes les personnes qui développent dans mon langage aient leur code euh, sur, euh, sur une base de données en ligne. Le jour où moi je mets à jour le langage, je peux. Euh, lancer une procédure qui va automatiquement mettre à jour le code des utilisateurs. Ouais. L'idée c'est même de rendre automatique ces mises à jour. Thanks. <laughs> 
on the set of slides. And we progressively introduced on the talk a GPS script engine at the limiting code and the client side. We begin with an inner set of three rules, then add constants and numbers, and finally call the browser's functionalities. As a building line, we present how it can be computed the factorial of any number, natural number, regardless of its size and with the total proceeding. For instance, what you see here. In the Lambda talk, uh, expressions, uh, Lambda talk is built on three rules, freely inspired by the Lambda calculus. An expression is defined repeatedly as follows, you will find like that, where uh, uh, words, abstractions, and applications, where a word is any character except spaces and curly braces. An abstraction is a process called a function, selecting a sequence of words called arguments in an expression called Boolean. And an application is a process calling an abstraction to replace selected words by some other words called values. And the evaluation follows these rules. A word is not evaluated. An abstraction is evaluated to a single word, a reference stored in the global dictionary. An application is evaluated to a sequence of words. And abstractions, that we call spatial form, are evaluated before applications called forms. The evaluation stops when all expressions have been progressively reduced from the root to the root. Examples, words are ignored. Here, you see that the abstraction defines the character O and A as characters whose occurrences in the expression of happy day will be replaced by some future values and return the reference to anonymous function. Here, it's an application with this uh, abstraction which is Defined and immediately called, the abstraction is first evaluated. The application gives a weighted values, called the abstraction, which makes the substitution and returns the result. Another application more interesting, this expression returns respectively the this expression returns respectively the first and the second word of the word, which reminds something of the input. And the last uh, note that here, to the contrary to the predecessor, um, uh, arguments are, uh, and their occurrences in the functions body have been prefixed by, with a column. Doing that prevents unintentional substitutions in the functions body. Escaping arguments, for instance, prefixing them with a column is highly recommended, if not always mandatory. It was not mandatory here. So we will do it systematically and add this constraint to the definition of abstraction. Argument function must be first at, at least returned by an escape character, for instance, colon R, or for a better security, bracketed between two, for instance, colon R colon. At this point, we can only say that this unreadable expression, this expression, is evaluated to anonymous function. This is the reference of anonymous function. And what is behind will, uh, will, will be revealed a little later. First, how does this, uh, how this uh, evaluator is implemented in this section? We present the minimal subset of lambda talk, which is necessary and sufficient to implement the definition given in the previous section. Uh, we will call lambda world this subset because uh, it knows nothing of numbers, match operators, HTML, CSS, DOM, nothing but words. Evaluation. Working on the client side, the lambda world eva evaluator is a JavaScript immediately invoked function expression, returning the public function eva. This function is called at every keyboard entry, doesn't build any abstract syntax tree, and progressively replaces the string code by its evaluation. Application. In a single loop, using a single regular expression, simple forms are recursively evaluated from the list to the root and replaced by words. The evaluator stops when they are reduced to a valid HTML code sent to the browser's engine for the final evaluation and display. 
using a regular expression based window, the evaluator literates <coughs> over the code string, skips the words, and progressively replaces in situ forms by words. The most important thing is that the repeated substitutions inside the code string overcomes limitations of a regular language. Abstraction, lambdas. Uh, it's a little more complicated. I show you the um, functionalities of lambdas. Lambdas are first class functions. Lambdas accept partial function application. We call with a number of values lesser than their rt. They memorize the given values and return a lambda waiting for the rest. You can see here uh, in this part of, of the code, return a lambda or a form uh, in the both cases. Lambdas don't create closures. There are no, um, the inner lambdas have no access to outer lambdas arguments. There is no lexical scoping, no environment, no free variables, nothing. Lambdas are pure black boxes, maybe as are mathematical functions, out of space. Anyway, this iconoclastic behavior uh, allows building, uh, allows building user-defined aggregated data, consists lists and so on, even if for material efficiency they are usually implemented as primitives in the underlying language. We are going to introduce names. Introducing the special form def word expression, we can populate some dictionary with constants. At this level, the, dic the dictionary is empty uh, and give names to uh, lambdas and may code more readable. readable. Let's, re let's rewrite with names of the previous example. Here you can see that i must be bracket, bracketed between curly braces to be evaluate, evaluated. Remember that in a spreadsheet, we must write equal p parentheses open and, and close to get the call a function to get the value associated to p. The second and the third example, nothing to say. You see the substitution. Uh, you can see here that uh, here the a of day is not prefixed by a column. So it has not been uh, substituted by the value given here and here. The fourth, in the fourth example, you, you recognize the pairs, cons, car, cadaver. And in the fifth example, uh, we have given a, a name bar to uh, this uh, ugly uh, expression. And you, uh, we notice that bar is applied to an anonymous, fun an anonymous function applying five times f to x. We will show later that the resulting word is a reference to an anonymous function associated with factorial 5. And we could do the same with uh, uh, factorial 50, but uh, we, have, uh, we, we should need uh, seven years to get the result. At this point, lambda word knows nothing but text substitution. Surprisingly, this is enough to introduce numbers without calling the JavaScript map objects. With a judge, we define the so-called judge numbers, 0 to 5. Uh, applied to a couple of any words, we get strange things. But so we define the function judge, which translates judge numbers in a more familiar shape. Yeah. Church zero is zero, and so on. Note that here, note that the church function is built on the primitive function plus and on the concept of number, which are not supposed to exist at this point. Consider that it's only for readability. Now we have numbers. Our church numbers are iterators by themselves, and we can easily define the first set of, of, of operators, successor, add, melt, power. It works. Even if it is a little more tricky, we could go on and build next operators, spread, subtract, div, true, false, and so on, and even the Y combinator, which helps our most recursive functions to be recursive. But it, in this presentation, we only want to compute the product of the, the first name in n natural number. And amazing, amazingly, we already have all the tools in N to do it. Duration. We already have all what is needed to evaluate complex expressions, like uh, one 
times two and so on times n, church numbers can be used to iterate n pairs to aggregate. This is how you define a function eta pair, getting a pair a b and returning a pair a plus one a times b. The function pair computes the function eta computes n iterations of eta pair, starting on the pair one one and leading to the pair n factorial n and returns the second. Here, Kader returns the second. So we could compute uh, the factorial in, in, uh, using an iterative uh, process. And if we uh, don't uh, uh, use the names 1, 5, root, uh, 6, Komska, uh, eta, we can write the last line, church 5, this line, using exclusively uh, abstractions and applications. We recognize the fifth example of section 1, whose evaluation is now clearly displayed, displayed as a factorial of 5, 120. It is what I, I wanted to de demonstrate. Now it's time to remember that we can use the power of modern browsers to make things easier. In fact, at this, at, at this level, the language is uh, with a very uh, small dictionary, and uh, the browser will be a, a, a kind of a huge library in which we can uh, get uh, functions. What is Lambda Talk? In order to bring a bit of humanity and make coding much more easy, the set of special forms is extended to this set, lambda, def, if, left, let, code, macro, require. Note there is not no set bank special form, lambda talk is purely functional. The dictionary is populated with primitive functions built on the browser's foundation, JavaScript's numbers, math operators, and functions, HTML tags, CSS rules, and some others. This is the current content of the Lambda Talk dictionary, and you can see after Turtle, so the constant Turtle, the user defined constant specifically built for this page. We are going now to illustrate some of them. Recursion. Until now, uh, we couldn't uh, use a recursion with, uh, uh, in, in, in the level uh, Lambda Calcul Pure. Uh, until now, we was, uh, a factorial file was computed as a product with a special form if root and one else two, and its lazy ev evaluation. The way is open to recursive algorithm. It's now possible to write the factorial function following its mathematical definition. You recognize it. We can uh, write the tail recursive uh, version, and uh, the recursive part is in this. Uh, algorithm, the recursive part is called by a helper function introducing the accumulator A. Lambda talk doesn't know lexical scoping and this leads to some pollution of the dictionary. The Y combinator mentioned, mentioned, both, mentioned both making recursive or an almost recursive function will help us to discard this helper function. The Y combinator and the almost recursive function can be defined and used like this. This is my Y combinator in this case, uh, uh, an almost back uh, function. And because the Y combinator can be applied to any other almost recursive function, maybe sharing, uh, uh, sharing the same signature, for instance Fibonacci and others, we have reduced the pollution that we can do better. Instead of applying the Y combinator to the almost recursive function, we can define a function merging the both, you, you see here. So we have a, a function, the name is Yfac, and Yfac applied to five is what we want. Yfac uh, is a first class uh, function, so it can be given to map, map uh, built-in function to uh, produce a series of uh, factorials. The last point to fix is that FAC, uh, uh, FAC 50, TFAC 50, and YFAC 50 return a rounded value which is obviously not the exact value. We must go a little further and build some tools capable of processing big numbers. Big numbers. The way the JavaScript math object is implemented puts the limit of natural numbers to 2 powers 54. 
Beyond this limit, last digits are rounded to zero, and that's the four last digits of 2 over 64. Uh, should be uh, 16, 16, uh, and are actually rounded to 2000. Uh, and beyond 2 over 69, natural numbers are replaced by float numbers with a maximum of 15 valid digits. In order to overcome this limitation, let's come back to the definition of the natural number, you see it, and three strategies. We define and use a factorial function working on natural numbers of any size with an exact precision. We call it B, uh, a big integer, in fact, and so on. It works, but you see that this uh, function uh, calls a set of lambda talk functions exclusively built on numbers defined as lists of digits. Uh, we have no time to study these functions, but it's not very long. With nothing but the set of uh, special forms, lambda, def, if, the counts and list structures, and a few math operators, we have computed the exact value of 50. Factorial 50. What they had in Montrandor. Uh, in this case, uh, in this presentation, we are interested in computing uh, factorial n, which needs nothing but uh, in this uh, shape, which needs nothing but the uh, times operator acting on natural positive numbers. With this little uh, long, uh, with this little JavaScript function, we can define the factorial and call and replace the times uh, the, the star and the, uh, by the long root and get a good result. But the best uh, solution for me was to uh, find, uh, uh, was, uh, build on the fact that Jonas Raoni Sauris Silva has written a small and smart library big number, ready to be called by via, via lambda talk wrapping functions. Everything being stored in another, in another page, lib big num, this uh, library. XML, calling, calling this code via a require function, we just write this and we get the result. Obviously, it is best choice. Now, we leave the big numbers and show other application of Lambda Talk built on the powerful functionalities of the browser's engines. For instance, uh, maybe you know the Decastangio algorithm, the animated picture below illustrates the Ducastagio recursive algorithm, which allows drawing basic curves of any degree. Uh, even controlled by any number of points, even in any multidimensional space, uh, four space, and we and we get the non-uniform rational data spine for people who know that. Lambda talk can call the set of SVG functions, uh, carrying with the browser implemented into the reverser. For instance, the following colored lambda uh, is not a picture, it's a result of this code. And this code is built uh, on uh, the definition of uh, Castell, interpolation, uh, computer sub, computer point, uh, and build the function. OK. Uh, spreadsheet. Uh, spreadsheet is an interactive uh, computer application for organization and so on, but you know all that. The basic is idea is that each cell contains the input, words and any lambda talk expression, and displays the output. Writing spreadsheet for five displays what you see here. I make, uh, this is a test. I copy this code, I pass it here, and go here, and you can see in this cell, uh, in this cell you can see uh, the uh, lambda talk expression with a relative uh, uh, reference. Uh, if I uh, uh, modify, if I, if I edit the value the, in real time, and so on, maybe better. Uh, I can write here uh, something like this. I hope it works, yes. And you have 
I could uh, call the function uh, big number uh, and I wrap the result of the factorial of 50 in uh, a cell. In every cell, I can, uh, at every cell of uh, uh, the, 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 this spreadsheet, is a micro wiki page in which I can use uh, every, almost, almost uh, every function expression. And it's, uh, it's the end. Uh, this is a direct equation in the form originally proposed by Dirac. It's not a picture. Uh, Nanotok forgets the math ML, math ML markup set which, which is not implemented in Google Chrome. A set of functions can be defined to render math symbols. For instance, the above Dirac equation is not a picture, but result of the code, uh, the code below. And uh, this uh, function, cushion, cushion, uh, parent, sigma, and so on, are defined here. It's nothing but standard HTML and CSS rule. I don't say uh, it's, uh, it resolves all the problem of uh, uh, mathematical expression that some <coughs> can be resolved. Uh, Lambda talk uh, can be interfaced with some JavaScript uh, called written in any wiki page via a script allowing the exploration of, uh, of uh, ray tracing uh, forms and shapes on the broad turtle and, and so on and even a true list uh, I uh, can state the, the, uh, the Python uh, list of uh, written by Python Norway Norwig, and uh, as you can see, I write that embedded in a lambda talk uh, call. I can write true list with set bag. Yes, in lambda list, the set bag, the set bag special form exists. Macros, macros, uh, lambda talk macros bring the power of regular expression directly in the language. For instance. Uh, if you prefer write uh, different mm, different will uh, and so on and not a different name lambda huh? you <coughs> define this macro you can see here uh, an adapted uh, regular expression syntax uh, some uh, functions uh, lambda tool functions are not uh, very unique Thanks to the macro, we have, uh, maybe I have no time. Thanks to the macro, uh, it's possible to build a function, to define a macro, and make this function a long data function very easy. To finish, as a last example, the macro comes with a predefined small set of macros, allowing writing without curly braces. For, in for instance, uh, instead of writing H1 for a title, uh, you can write that. It looks maybe more complex, but it's very useful. Uh, these simplified alternatives, avoiding curly braces as much as possible, are fully used in the current document. Conclusion. Lambda Talk takes benefit from the extraordinary power of modern web browsers, and be adding a coherent and unique notation without reinventing the wheel. Just using existing tools, HTML, CSS, DOM, and JavaScript. The longer way project is a thin overlay built upon a modern browser, proposing a small interactive development environment and a coherent language without any external dependencies, and thereby easy to download and install on a web account provider running PHP. From any web browser on any system, complex web pages can be created, enriched, structured, structured, and tested in real time on the web. It's exactly how the current presentation was created. Thank you.
other, uh, mostly to the, uh, to the JavaScript of the browser? Um, if I understand your question, because of my native English, I am not a Basically, I want an interface uh, yep. between the Lambda way and uh, JavaScript. Uh, the code uh, below it's a H, uh, is a JavaScript file, nothing more. Yes. Uh, in, in, in this JavaScript, uh, in this code, uh, I show you eval lambda, I show you uh, eval forms, and uh, lambda talk, and more. Uh, 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 other forms, uh, special forms, and on test I'm playing with uh, delays, uh, macros. Uh, macros I didn't uh, be um, okay. But I use with caution. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's really uh, yeah, to enforce what you say, to what you've done, to, to build everything. So it's your last claim that you, you you didn't reinvent the wheel and that it was. Thin layer. I, I wonder if you could not have taken uh, just some of the functionality of JavaScript and put an even thinner layer, rather than rebuilding your own lambda calculus, your own uh, uh, your own combinators, and so forth. I, I'm not sure. Perhaps you just did that as a way of demonstration, uh, uh, that it's not necessarily uh, built into your your, your your lambda language. If I understand what you say, yeah. uh, <laughs> I tried to do some yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, If I what you say for um, for years, I have been work, 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 working of, on uh, uh, splines, nerves, uh, shapes, in, uh, and uh, using uh, C++, Java, Ruby, uh, and uh, last uh, JavaScript. This is in JavaScript. Uh, this is, uh, but, and uh, I wrote in an imperative. Uh, form. And thanks to uh, this exploration of the Hollywood of Lisp, uh, I discovered that it was possible to uh, write functional, purely functional functions uh, to, to get <coughs> such a result. So, uh, maybe to answer your uh, question, uh, I can uh, forget the talk. Uh, Lambda Talk uh, gives me uh, an, in, an insight uh, in maybe a better uh, programmation uh, and I could rewrite all these things in JavaScript. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Indeed. Thank you.